what we're going to be going over here is governmental accounting for the agency fund. Now the agency fund would be part of the fiduciary funds here under governmental accounting and those would include like the private purpose trust fund, the investment trust fund, the pension trust fund, and then we get down to the agency funds here. That's what we're going to be looking at. Now those agency funds, that's where the government acts as an agent for someone else for payroll withholdings here and other tax collections. So the key features here in our agency fund. First, it acts as an agent again for someone else for employee payroll deductions here. That would be federal and state withholding taxes and any insurances and so forth here. Or it's where one municipality here collects taxes for another, like collecting taxes for different school districts. And again, that would be done through this agency fund here. And secondly here, the agency funds usually do not have a fund balance. Only Fund, it's only fund without a fund balance. It only has assets and liabilities. It may have some ending balance uh, in, the fund that, in the agency fund itself, but they wouldn't have anything classified as a fund balance. Again, the agency funds always owe money to someone else. Therefore, they would not have a fund balance. They may have an end of period balance, but no fund balance. And again, uh, agency funds, they would use modified accrual accounting. Okay, so we're going to go through three cases here for looking at how this agency fund operates. So first, let's look at the case here where the agency fund is to collect taxes for other governmental units or other governmental funds. So uh, just say, for example, the agency fund was set up here through the city, and the city is going to collect taxes for the county portion here, 100000 The city itself, they're going to collect 250000 through the agency fund. And then the township, they're going to collect $150,000. So what we have to do here, the first thing we have to do in our agency fund, we're going to have to set up our taxes receivable that are going to be collected. So for our taxes receivable, we would have a, 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 a I've got all the titles shown here in T-Account form, and that's what we want to concentrate on. So in our taxes receivable, that would be for all the units here in the agency fund. And we're talking about all the units. That was that county, city, and town tax, township tax. And what those added up to, the 150000 here for the county, city 250000 and township was 150000 that totals to $500,000. So in their taxes receivable here for all units, they would have debited that here for $500,000 in the agency fund itself. Okay, now they have to have the payable here. That is, the credit is going to go to due to other governmental funds that we just mentioned here, but it would be titled that in the agency fund itself. So we set up the payable here, credit it for $500,000. Now we come along and the taxes are actually collected here. So what we would do in our receivable, credit, our, our taxes receivable account here for $500,000. And then we would go in, in our cash account here in the agency fund, we would debit that here for $500,000 for those taxes that are collected. Now we have, remember that liability that we had set up here for, to record those, uh, those the liability here on those taxes. Okay, so now we're gonna be looking at the liability to each unit that's recorded here. So we remember we had due to other governmental funds here. We had that credit for $500,000. Now we're going to remove that here and we're going to debit it out here for $500,000. That to those total taxes here that were collected. And we go down and this is where we have to set up the account here due to uh, the specific governmental fund. We'd actually have an account set up for each one of those. That would be, we'd have a, I'm just lumping them all together here, but you would have a, a account here due to the specific, and then you would list it, the governmental fund here, the county, 100,000, the city, 250,000, and a township, 150,000. So we taken our liability here due to these other government funds, reduced it, or we've taken it off here, uh, reduced it to zero here, but we transferred that liability and we to this due to the specific governmental fund that we just looked at. Okay, so, okay, what if we didn't mention that, the debit went to the due to other governmental funds and the credit goes to, and then I have them each specified here, county, 100,000, city, 250, township, 150,000. Okay, so that's where we transferred the liability here. Now let's look at the cash is paid to each of those governmental units. We actually are gonna pay out the those taxes that we collected to the county, city, and the township. So first off, let's see what we do here. We Cash was paid out here. 
debit our, our cash account here for 500, our credit, our cash account, reduce it here for $500,000. And then we go down to, due to the specific governmental fund, well, we're gonna have paid that cash to them. I'm not showing the entries here for those specific funds, but we would take this liability off the books here because we would have paid that cash to them, that $500,000 here that we paid out. So due to the specific governmental fund, we would debit it or remove that liability off here. 100,000 here for the county, 250,000 here for the city itself, and 150,000 for the township. So we've taken care of our liabilities here. We don't have the liability because we would have paid out those cash, to, that cash that we collected here on those taxes receivable to each of those uh, units here, those funds for each of those different funds. Okay, so we've taken care of the agency fund where he collected taxes for other governmental units. Okay, so let's look at our second case here. All right, this is where the general fund is going to pay some payroll out here, some salaries and wages, and they're going to transfer dollars to the for the payroll withholdings to the agency fund, and the agency fund is going to make payments for those payroll withholdings. Okay, so this is what we're going to be looking at here. This is the case here where this uh, the general fund is going to have collected money or had taken payroll deductions here for the insurance company, 10000 federal withholding tax, 25000 and the state withholding tax here, 15000 So let's go up and let's look at how we record this. So, okay, first off here, let's look at in our, what's our going in our general fund here. They're going to have expenditures here. Let's look at the expenditures first here. So we're going to debit their expenditures here for $250,000. That's the total payroll that they paid out here for salaries and wages here, and also those withholdings. Now, um, they recognize those as expenditures, but the cash that they actual payroll payments they made was to was for $200,000 here. Credit or reduce your cash for $200,000. But this is where they set up this liability here, and they're going to call it due to the agency fund. The agency fund is going to take care of the uh, those payroll withholdings. Remember the insurance company, 10000 federal, 25, federal withholding tax here, 25000 state withholding of 15000 So they due to... They set up in the general fund this liability account titled due to the agency fund. Agency fund's going to receive this, those withholding amounts here. They're going to credit it for $50,000. Okay, those total amounts here. Okay, so agency fund re is to receive money here from the general fund, and they're going to record the liability to each unit. So we're going to talk about those units here. So what we did here... Uh, we'd also have to look move down to the agency from the general fund here into the agency fund for those withholdings. So this is what they're going to the agency fund. We're looking at the agency fund now. This is where they're going to have due from the general fund here for fifth, debit that for fifty thousand dollars for those withholdings here, those payroll withholdings. So what we did here, we taken it all. We've we, when we set up this due to the agency fund here for those withholdings credited for $50,000, we would also have to set up in the agency fund here, due from the general fund, debit that here for $50,000. And at the same time, we set up as a liability here in an agency fund due to the specific other unit. And we would actually have an account for each of these here. When I talk about other unit, we're talking about the insurance company withholdings. They're going to, the insurance company is going to be paid $10,000 here, uh, and the federal uh, tax is going to be paid, the federal is going to be paid $25,000, and the state is going to be paid $15,000. So this is where you have to set up that due to the specific other unit here for those withholdings. Okay, so we've taken care of that. Now we get down here to the agency fund receives the dollars here from the general fund. They actually receive those dollars here. So what we would do here in the general fund due to the agency fund, you can debit that out or remove that liability off here for $50,000. $50, and then they would have paid to, again, this is where they're going to pay it to the agency fund here in their cash account. We would have paid that $50,000 here to the agency fund. And then in the agency fund here, you're going to, the cash is going to be received here 
for $50,000. We would debit or increase our agency fund cash here for $50,000. And then in the agency fund, this due from the general fund that they're not going to have, it's not going to be due anymore because the general fund is going to have to pay it. So you'd credit or reduce your due from the general fund here in the agency fund for $50,000. Okay, so that takes care of the case here where the agency fund here received these dollars from the general fund. Now, we have to look here where the agency fund actually pays these dollars to each of these units here. So in the agency fund itself, we're going to pay all those withholdings here. So the cash account, credit, your agency fund here for $50,000. And then the debit or yes, the debit is going to go to the dues to the specific other units here or other funds here. We're going to debit it out because we're going to have paid uh, those monies to the insurance company for $10,000. The federal uh, withholding, the federal uh, tax people are going to get, have getting paid $25,000 and the state tax people are getting paid here $15,000. So we no longer have this liability here after we pay those those other governmental units here off here. So what we would do for due to the specific other governmental unit, we're going to just remove that liability, debit that uh, 10,000 here for the insurance company, 25,000 for the federal, and 15,000 here for the state taxes. So once it's paid out here, uh, the cash payments are made to those other governmental units or other governmental funds here, then we can remove the liability off the books. Okay, so that really, uh, we looked at the case here where the agency fund received money here from the general fund for those payroll withholdings, and then uh, the agency fund here actually paid out those withholdings. Okay, so now let's go and let's look at the third case here. This is where the agency, funds, uh, agency fund is used for a special assessment collection. So agency fund here through the government, through the government, this is where the government is going to act as an agent between some bondholders and assessments that are made to the property owners here. And the property owners are going to be assessed, say, for some road improvements here. Okay, again, so this is what we're going to be setting up here. And again, the agency fund is really just a conduit here in exchanging cash between the property owners are going to be res responsible for these assessments here. And the property owners are essentially uh, going to be owing the bondholders. The bondholders are going to finance these, these special assess, or the special assessments are going to be made through the property owners. But to complete this project, they're going to issue bonds here to the bondholders. And what, again, let's just, this is just really just some real beef understanding just to understand what's going on here. Again, the agency fund is used at, for the special assessment of these bonds issued for some capital project here. And this is the case here where the government really has no responsibility for paying these bonds here. They don't, they don't really owe money to the bondholders. What they are doing is they're just no more than a conduit here between the property owners who are owe this special assessment and the bondholders who are going to receive money through this special assessment. Okay, so what you would do here, just really basic, just to understand it, I've got the account showing here. So we're going to have a special or a, rest, a special assessment receivable here, the current amount here, in this is in our agency fund, and then we're going to have a special assessment receivable for deferred amount, and this is really looking at a bond here. So we're going to break up this special assessment uh, the current amount, that's what really has to be paid for the first uh, for the first year here is the current amount here. And a, a special assessment receivable deferred, that's what's paid here in the future. That's we, So we're going to have to set up the current receivable here and the deferred receivable here as the special assessment. So let's just say, and we're going to have uh, bondholders are going to, the project here is for $400,000, so just say there's bonds issued here for $400,000. So in your agency fund, you're going to have due to the special assessments here, the bondholders, you set that up as a liability. We're going to credit that here for $400,000, and we're going to break it down between the deferred portion here the, uh, with for debit that here for $300,000, and then the current portion, let's just say, debit that here for $100,000. The only point is, with the special assessment, you want to break it up between the current amount here and any deferred amounts. Okay, so 
let's just say now these special assessments are collected here. So what we would do here in this special assessment receivable for the current, where only the currents are collected, say we had that $100,000 debit amount here, now we credit it out for $100,000 here. So we don't have any current a special assessment receivable, and then the cash account would have been debited here for $100,000, that collection here on that current receivable. And then let's look, now let's just say the bondholders were paid here. And what we would do here, okay, we're gonna cash account, and again, and this is all in the age, everything's going on in the agency fund here. Now we're gonna have paid out $100,000 here. So cash account, credit at $400,000, and then it would go to the, due to the special assessment bondholders, we'd reduce that liability here by $100,000. We're sitting with 400,000 here, but the current amount is being paid up $400,000. So we're actually gonna actually pay the bondholders here. They're gonna receive that 100,000 in cash. But in our account here under our agency fund, the due to special assessment account would be reduced here by the amount here that we're paying out that $100,000 for them. The only point is here, this agency fund, it, it's just no more than a conduit here between the property owners who are paying this assessment and the bondholders who are gonna receive money through this special assessment. Okay, again, government has no real responsibility here other than transferring the money from the uh, property owners here to the bondholders. Okay, so we looked at several uh, several uh, account, uh, methods here are using the agency fund where they collected taxes for other governmental units here and then they also paid some withholding taxes and they also acted here as uh, agency fund was used for special assessment collections and payables. Okay, so that'll summarize our discussion.